Yo, what is up everybody? It is mushroom foraging season here in Minnesota. When I say that, I mean fall mushrooms. Um, any other mushroom in general. I mean, they come out all spring and summer, different kinds. But one mushroom in particular stands out this time of year. We are talking about hen of the woods mushroom. Graffola frondosa, sheep's head, ram's head, the dancing mushroom, I believe the Japanese call it. But, oh, today I am foraging for some, and I'll tell you, I was out in these woods a week ago and found an old one, and then I found one that just started growing, and the base of it was like this big around. So I suspect that it's going to be really big. Um, like I said, it's been a week since I've been here. So there's, I would be willing to bet that we're going to find more than that just one mushroom. But they are pretty easy to distinguish, okay? Because they only grow next to oak trees and generally large mature oaks. So if you can find an old growth... Of oaks right now is the time to be out there looking need a need a good rain you know um, and I think the ground temperature has to hit 55 degrees for them to start coming out uh, we've hit that a, f a couple times this year as that's why they're out at this time maybe we'll get lucky and find a chicken or something somewhere in here too that's those are really good but hen of the woods are a brown mushroom a brown brown clumpy mushroom that have petals almost um, and they grow on the ground right next to oak trees so it's not like you just find them randomly anywhere giant brown mushroom next to an oak tree pretty unmistakable it's one of the most I guess if you're gonna start foraging it's probably like one of your easiest basic mushrooms that you could you know dif differentiate between an edible and a non-edible mushroom it's hard to, to it's hard to mistake them for any any other mushroom. To be honest with you, them's them chicken of the woods. Some other ones are pretty hard or pretty easy to distinguish. So we are going to go walk through the woods here and look for some hen of the woods, and we'll definitely check out that big one. Um, I'll show you a picture of it real quick right here, and that is what it looked like exactly. No. Yes, exactly a week ago today. So seven days growth. We've had rain twice and warm weather, so should be pretty big. Anyway, we're gonna go look for some other ones, start checking trees, and uh yeah, do this. Ooh. All right. Got a hen here that looks like it's might be from the rain, but let's see here the underside. Oh no, that's it's actually really nice still. See that how the pores aren't all opened up and white and puffy. That is a good hen, and I did pick up a little tiny chunk of chicken here. There's a chicken of the woods right there. It might be a little too old. You could definitely eat the edges of this mushroom still. I think we'll take a little bit of it. Oh. 
All right, here's some more chickens right here. I think that this is a white oak, I'm not sure. It's not a red oak or a bur oak. But you can see I harvested one there last week. And now two more have popped up. This little tiny baby one. And this one here, I'm not sure how much bigger this one's gonna get, to be honest with you. But we're gonna... I'm gonna leave that one right there. Cute little guys though. Notice how these are like really light colored. I don't know what causes them to be light colored. And then the next one's dark brown. There's one from last week I never seen. And there's the one right there that we wanted to check on. It's a week's worth of growth. It didn't get that big, actually. I thought it would have been twice that size. Ooh. That's a nice looking one. So we're gonna take both of these. Just go right down by the base here. I always cut up a little ways because I don't like I don't like taking all the grass and everything out of them. Ooh, I didn't that might have been oh yeah, I guess we left a little bit. Here we go. A couple of nice mushrooms. Let's put that one with the other one we picked over there. This is this is the one that I really wanted to pick because I clean the dirt and stuff away from it. So it would be nice and clean when we came back. And it is. There it is right there. Mm-hmm. We're gonna cut that off. So left the little guy over there, came over, picked this one. I was pretty happy. You can see I cleaned all the dirt away from it last week. It is fairly clean, just some dirt here. This is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna go to freeze these. Can't wait to make some poly pour corn chowder this winter. Well, there you guys go. We have an armload of Grafola frondosa. Uh, what I'll do with this is now <clears throat> I'll take this home and I will clean it up. I will vacuum pack it and I'll freeze it raw. That's right, raw. I don't cook it. Don't dehydrate it. Freeze it raw in packages, portion packages. And then when I want to re re reuse it, I'll throw it in a bowl of cold water overnight, you know, or for a few hours. And it will thaw out and it will taste fantastic still. Um... Yeah, maybe I'll I'll do a I'll do a mushroom video here on a recipe I seen online, but about, about a year and a half ago. Um, I don't think I made a video on it, so maybe I'll do that. But you can see the distinct look of these mushrooms: the brown on the top. Ooh, don't go down! Don't fall down there, buddy. Little guy, brown on the top, like so. Shibalam, white on the bottom. Like so, see that how they has how they have pores and not gills, and they have a I don't know I don't I honestly don't know I couldn't tell you exactly what the odor is like, um, but they have their own scent you could say. Yeah, but they're fantastic. They're they're good for you. Um, they're like a super mushroom, pretty much. If you ever wanted to figure some stuff out, look just Google them. Um, been health benefits of Grafola frondosa or Mayataki, and it will you'll see what's going on. But August and September are great times, they'll be popping out for the next foreseeable month, month and a half. Um, yeah, there we go.